In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Simply Safe Smart Lock, this bad boy right here. That's today's video. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're going to take a good look at this lock right here, the Simply Safe Smart Lock, and what it's been like for, for me to use it for a little bit of time now. And I'm going to give you my review on it and what I think about it, the good, the bad, the ugly, and just tell you if this is a, a good lock or not and see if it's maybe one that you want to purchase. Now, first I'll start off with saying I am not affiliated with Simply Safe by any means. Uh, I'm just a regular consumer, like many of you guys watching this video, and I'm just giving my honest review on this lock. Now, I don't own the Simply Safe actual alarm system. I only wanted a smart lock. I wanted the convenience of being able to walk up to my door, uh, not fumble around with my keys, especially if my hands were full, and I wanted to be able to just like punch in a code and have the, the lock unlock and then be able to come into my house. Uh, so I was looking at all the different types of smart locks that are out on the market and I had it narrowed down to two The August smart lock and this one here and I ended up going with the simply safe smart lock and I'll explain why now simply safe does offer an alarm system They have cameras. They have the whole boatload of home security And this is their newest product right here was the smart lock and I had reached out to them and asked them, do I have to buy into the Simply Safe alarm system, which comes with a monthly fee, or can I just get the smart lock? And they said I can get just the smart lock, and that's what I did. Uh, so that's what I have here. And uh, that was the thing about the August smart lock is you didn't have to buy into any kind of monthly subscription, which was also appealing for me. Uh, but now the reason I went with Simply Safe instead of August was. Uh, one, the price point was a little bit cheaper. Um, not, not too much cheaper, but a little bit cheaper. But also, I like the way this one looked. Um, it, it was a low profile, uh, small, uh, narrow, compared to the August Smart Lock, which is a kind of a thick. It sticks out quite a bit more. But uh, also, it, it matches pretty well with my door here. If you can see, I've got a white door. I've got dark handles here. And they offered uh, this lock here in a dark color. So it just... Uh, made it look really good matching on both sides um, on the other side there it's also black so they offer this in like three different colors that white a black and then I think maybe a bronze but um, yeah this is the one that I went with right here now when you buy this smart lock you get four different components to it you get the actual smart lock here you get this touchpad screen right here that you want to kind of put close to the lock you get the brains here this is the main hub and it's, I just unplugged it so it's glowing because it's running on battery right now. And then the last component that you get is the actual touchpad that goes on the outside that you put in your code that you can customize yourself to let yourself in. But it comes with those four different components in order to run this whole system of having a smart lock convenience of getting into your house. Now to just give you a little glimpse of how this thing works, say I'm getting ready to leave the house um, what I would do is I would come here and then on this touch pad here, there is a way. You see, as soon as I touched it, it illuminated. But I would hit away. Please exit now. The brain just told me to exit now. And there's a countdown that's going on there on the screen that gives you 60 seconds to get outside of the house. Uh, when you get down to the like last 10 seconds, it starts to beep a little bit faster and, and to kind of tell you, hey, it's time to get out. But right now it's giving me 60 seconds. And what it'll do is after that countdown is over, it'll automatically lock here. And it's your deadbolt that'll lock. This only works if you have the right kind of deadbolt. So make sure you guys check out the website to see if you guys have the correct type of door and deadbolt that'll match this particular lock right here. Okay, so it's counting down fast it's in the last five seconds now. And it'll get ready to lock. Away. There it goes. So it notified that you are away and that it automatically locks. So you leave, you're gone, it locks automatically. And then if you come home to unlock it, there's a touchpad on screen on the other side. 
So we'll go ahead and look at that. Okay, so now we are on the outside. Uh, this is the touch pad that I mounted on here, and it's mounted with an adhesive. It's not screwed into your aluminum or your siding or wherever you put it. And you can put it just about anywhere you want. You can put it on your door or on, beside it. I ended up opting to go on the side there. But so this is the touch pad you have left, and now you're coming home. What you do is you put in your code, and then it'll lock, unlock. Four digit code. And it just unlocked. So now we'll go ahead and open the door. Bam, just like that. So four digit code, customizable. You can make it whatever number that you want. Uh, so in that way, if you want to keep your numbers the same as you do, uh, like your passwords and stuff, you can do that. It doesn't give you a, a specific code that you have to enter in. But that's, that's how it works. And it, it's worked pretty well for me in the time that I use it. Now, let me talk about some of the cons. Let's go back inside because it's cold outside. Okay, so now we're back inside. Let me talk about some of the things that have kind of went wrong with it that I have experienced in the time that I owned it. So um, this door here, so, and then all these doors are different. Your, your door might be a little bit different than mine, but sometimes I have to, I have to close it and hear that click from the handle here. And so sometimes whenever I put in my coat, the deadbolt here doesn't go all the way in, thus making it so that I can't open up the door. Now that may not be simply safe, simply safe fault. Maybe it might be. I don't know. And the inside of here, there are these plastic pieces that go onto the uh, the pin that comes out of your deadbolt. And you are using your existing deadbolt on the outside. Okay, this is the only part that you're replacing, or that Simply Safe is providing this part right here. The deadbolt on the other side is still your old one. So the pin that comes out of there, there's a plastic piece that gets on there, and then that's what helps turn your deadbolt, uh, a plastic piece that Simply Safe does provide. Now, I don't know if it's not tight enough on there, and therefore it doesn't always unlock it fully, but I have run into that issue. Um, not very often, but often enough to where it makes it kind of annoying. Okay, and the next kind of annoying thing, but it may not be simply safe fall, maybe it's uh, my door. But if you notice, I'm a big fan of having straight lines. I like to have my pictures hanging on the wall nice and straight. I don't like it when they're crooked and it kind of just messes with my OCD, you know. But this lock here, if you notice, there's a little bit of a gap here and then it's tight here. So it's like a little bit crooked and that kind of drives me crazy sometimes. But um, I don't know that that was Simply Safe's fault when I installed it on there. I tried to move it so that it was straight and it's locked right here. This is the way it's on there. So eh, maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky, but those are pretty much the only two things that I can say are cons when it comes to this lock. All right, so to talk a little bit more on the hub, the, the big old tower that I was holding earlier, um, that has a battery backup in it. So that's kind of nice in case the power goes out. Um, you still have your security system armed through that battery backup. Um, and there was a time that I unplugged it whenever I was uh, moving some cords around and it did remind me that it's now on battery backup and not plugged into the wall. So that's kind of a nice feature that the hub, the brain of this Simply Safe system has. Another nice little feature is once you do get home, um, say you, and instead of leaving your door unlocked, you want to lock it while you're home. As soon as you come home, you can hit the home button. Simply safe on. Simply safe on. And now it's locking. So you can automatically hit it home when you are home and it'll lock for you. So that, that's kind of a nice little feature, but I guess you could always just turn around and lock it when you come home. Now, if you are into the Simply Safe uh, family and, and you're paying the monthly subscription, you are able to unlock and lock your smart lock from your mobile, but you do have to pay the monthly price and be into that uh, subscription plan that they have. I'm not in that, so I don't have that capability, which I, I guess it's all right. I wanted it mainly for that touchpad screen on the outside, so maybe if like my kids come home, they don't have their key, they can just unlock it with uh, the four digit code that we have and get in the house that way. All right, so that's my review portion of this video. Now I'll go ahead and show you the setup process of what it was like whenever I was setting this thing up. So that way, in case you do decide to get this, 
you can see what it's like to uh, dive into the setup process and get this thing installed. So I'll go ahead and put that footage in now. Okay, so this is the deadbolt that I'm going to be replacing to put the uh, Simply Safe lock on. Let's go ahead and take this thing off. Okay, so now that we have the deadbolt off, we got this new Simply Safe lock here. If you notice, there's two tabs here on the side. Push that out, push that one out, and it releases this like template, this metal Simply Safe template. It pops right off like that. And then this side will be to the door, and then we'll put our dead or I'll put our screws back in. Okay, so we pop off our old deadbolt put that over to the side and simply safe side on there just like that okay so now that that's installed on there if you notice that the uh, tailpiece on this goes out a little way so it, it's a little bit longer and that's what takes that uh, lock piece and turns it well on the simply safe lock out there you see the difference there so what they have to do is they give you these extensions and that's what those colored plastic pieces are that are in the box here. So they give you all these plastic pieces here. So, and they're different shapes for different types of locks. So I'm gonna find the one that fits mine, stick it on there, which will extend that so that the Simply Safe lock can then turn the lock and unlock it. So mine was the green one. So it sticks in there right like so. And then now that square plug will fit into this square hole. <laughs> Okay, so I got it on there. I put the two clips, push them in, close the door. Now, one thing that was a little bit difficult was uh, this side here was hard to get in because of the molding on the window, but I was able to take a nail and stick it in there, but it seems to be on there pretty good. Locked, unlock, lock, unlock, so, okay. Seems to be on there. Now we'll move on to the next step. All right, so next up, this is the outside keypad that we're gonna mount on the other side of the door. And then on this one here, it's got the adhesive on the other side. So you peel that back. So that way you can stick that onto a wall. But this is the outside keypad. And we're gonna see if it works. Okay, so we had a little bit of difficulty since that last clip. Once I got the lock installed on there and I went to go use it as if I was going to leave, the Simply Safe base station was telling me that the lock had not been recalibrated called Simply Safe, was on hold with them for about five minutes. And in the meanwhile, while I'm on hold for five minutes, I dove into the bay or the, the main hub here to see if I could figure it out on my own. And you know what I did? I figured it out before they even returned the call. So what you do is you're gonna come on here, you're gonna go to menu and I select the menu there. Go to devices there. Right here is where you would find, mine would be the lock side door. I selected that. And then there was a spot down there that said recalibrate right there. So I had to, calibrate the lock recalibrate it and then now it's talking to the base station everything's working now um, so what we do <clears throat> is say you are home and you're getting ready to leave you got the so we're off we're getting ready to leave the house um, what you would do is you would uh, hit away please exit now just please exit now and it's giving you a, a minute countdown to get out of the house before it'll automatically lock itself right here. So uh, one minute, we'll go ahead and just wait for the countdown to go through. Um, and then a good thing is to take this thing. I'm, I think I'm gonna probably mount it right here. I have a door so that way I don't forget every time I need to leave to lock and arm the system automatically. So it's kind of nice that it will lock automatically once you hit the away button. So we are a few seconds away, 22 seconds. This is what's gonna get mounted on the outside of the door. Inside, outside, right here, gets faster. Simply safe on, away. Okay, so it automatically locked. The system said that it, it's locked. Oh, where we went. So you go to the store, you come back. Now you're home, okay? So now you're gonna use this key fob here, which gets mounted on the other side of the door. You'll put in your four digit pin. And then it automatically. Oh, alarm off so it automatically unlocks so that's exactly what i wanted now like i said i don't have the simply safe system that cost a monthly price i didn't want to get locked into a monthly rate all i wanted was this smart lock I wanted the simplicity of that so it was pretty easy to install a little hiccup on the recalibrating but i figured it out and now we are working and now we have a smart lock uh, hopefully this helped you if you were looking to maybe get this thing. If this helped you, throw a thumbs up. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time. Yeah, I think this is a good system and um, hopefully it helped you out. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Thanks for watching.